Hey guys, my name is Kyle Kerr, and I'm the Director of Esports Performance and Physical Training at Team Envy, and I'm joined by... I'm Mike McCrory, the Director of Middle Schools at Team Envy. And today we're going to be talking about the power of routine. One of the biggest problems I see gamers have today and the ones that we're dealing with at Team Envy is the power of routine. Um, they're so concerned with the grind and staying up till 3, 4, 5 a.m. They don't want to accomplish like the other things that are going to help them improve their game performance while they come in here and play, you know, their tournaments or their scrimmages and stuff like that. The routines are extremely important. And especially when we consider that we have individuals that are moving here and they're going through like a significant life transition. Mm -hmm. uh, they could be coming from another part of the US or they could be coming from another part of the uh, world. Yep. And so that's a, a big change when you move anywhere um, and you're getting to understand a new place and a new culture, new language maybe. Uh, new and, food maybe. A new food, uh, that's a tough one, yeah. yeah. And, and when you're going through this big transition, there's a lot you can't control and there's a lot of instability. Mm -hmm. uh, but I think the sooner you can introduce a routine and put yourself on something that is as consistent as a routine, then you can begin to introduce some stability and some control in what is otherwise an uncontrollable and unstable situation. The three things that we're trying to accomplish here or what we're trying to implement is, let's say the first one is sleep. Sleep is a really big factor when it comes to performance. Uh, we know that just for your uh, overall well-being and your health, uh, that sleep can play a critical factor uh, in just your mental health, but also your uh, physical health. But when it comes to even the performance within the game, uh, those of us that are not just getting uh, a quantity of sleep, but a high quality of sleep tend to react faster and play better on the game. What I tell the players or I try to get them to understand is your next practice is going to be just as good as your last recovery. So if you sleep maybe three hours or four hours a night, we can kind of uh, track that performance, whether how many eliminations of that game or throughout the day. And we can kind of show you the data and, and hopefully make you understand that, hey, sleep is important. There's been studies or, or articles that LeBron James uh, from the Los Angeles Lakers, he prioritizes sleep over anything else because their schedules are kind of similar to gamer schedules because they might not play until 9 p.m. and then they have to hop on a flight and then, you know, go to a different city and, you know, play another game, you know, maybe 10 hours from now. So sleep is very important that they have to understand, they have to, they have to get high quality sleep to perform at their best. Nutrition, um, is a super big impo or important factor of how we feel, how we think, and how we move. So, you know, gamers like to have fast food. They like to eat, you know, the cookies, the, the fast food, the stuff that's unhealthy. As a side effect to that, and what we have seen is, you know, decrease in reaction time, uh, you know, slowness in your uh, decision making. And, you know, we're trying to not fully eliminate it, but, you know, have, you know, say for this week, we want to have them eat more healthy meals than they do bad meals. I think if you're uh, having a conversation with someone about changing their nutrition and the things they eat, and, uh, you know, we tend to become pretty comfortable with certain types of foods and uh, there just seems we kind of become accustomed to. So mm -hmm. it can be a really difficult task to introduce uh, a change in terms of our eating habits. Uh, and so when, when working with anyone, I think you have to really focus on uh, understanding what they're trying, like what they're doing right now, figuring out where this person is at, and then what steps we need to take from there to make progress. Yeah. And I think one of the biggest problems that I see with gamers that we worked with today is a lot of them maybe just eat once a day because they're in scrimmages from say, you know, two to nine o'clock, and then they might eat just once. And we're trying to change that to say, hey, you know, I know that you're eating once a day, let's try to eat twice a day. Um, with some of the other players uh, that are exceeding faster or selling faster than others, I just try to tell them to focus on breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Um, and then if we can, let's add maybe a few more. So what we talked about before was, you know, sleep, uh, nutrition, and the third thing that is super important 
that not a lot of people know about, or especially gamers, is hydration. You know, sometimes gamers like to sit for you know eight, nine hours uh, in a in a row, and you know they forget to hydrate. And um, what we've learned and what we have studied before is, you know, that's going to be a decrease in performance, a decrease in reaction time. And that's something that we cannot have as professional gamers. Maybe just have like a big water jug like next to you at some point, or every every time you have a break during a scrimmage or a match, you know, get up, go to the refrigerator or go to the water fountain, wherever you are um, and, and get something to drink, you know, and something to touch base on that we've talked about multiple times is, uh, you know, not sitting for extended periods of time, you know, always getting up. And since we have a pretty big office here at Team Envy headquarters is, you know, whenever you have that break or that short little break is getting up, possibly going outside or taking a lap around the office. People stand a lot to benefit from taking breaks, uh, just from having that moment where you get up, stand up and step away from the PC, you know, step away from your setup. That's a moment to just turn that part of your mind off for a while because you're going and going all day long. You're playing for such crazy hours that just, even if it's just to stand up, but if it definitely, if it's to take a lap around the building or if it's to take a, a step outside, walk around your house, using that time and being intentional about having a break and letting yourself just kind of reset and refocus, you'll have so much more energy and you'll have so much more that you're capable of giving to that next map and that next round. And I think the mistake is to just run ourselves into the ground until we have nothing left to give. Yeah. But by taking these breaks and being willing to uh, just get up for a little while, then we can continue to give our best on a more consistent basis. And you might have a new perspective on like, hey, what just happened on that last match? What can I improve on for this next map going into it? So it's a very short time period that you have. And if we can kind of implement that to our gamers that we have here, they will probably see, or they will most likely see a, a significant increase in their performance and the, and then the way they think. And then, um, you know, hopefully win the next game if we happen to lose the first. We hope that you found this information useful and can apply it to your daily lives. Thanks for watching y'all and we'll see you next time. Thank you.